नमो नम गुड मॉर्निंग व्यूअर्स अक्रॉस इंडिया वेलकम टू द योगा सेशन आई थैंक रोटरी इंटरनेशनल फॉर टेकिंग इंटरेस्ट इन स्प्रेडिंग द मेसेज ऑफ हेल्थ एंड वेलनेस अक्रॉस द कम्युनिटी द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज इंसाइट इन टू मेडिटेशन द मेडिटेशन डसेंट मीन जस्ट क्लोजिंग युअर आईज एंड सिटिंग आइडल इन युअर लाइफ नॉट मूविंग एंड क्लोजिंग युअर आईज डसेंट मीन इट इज अ मेडिटेशन द मेडिटेशन इज अ स्टेट ऑफ अवर माइंड फ्रॉम वेर वी आर ऑपरेटिंग how is our expression in the world is dependent on the state of state of our mind meditation means it's a state reach such, such a state that your expression becomes beautiful my if my actions are uh, awkward that indicates a status of mind mind is not uh, blossom and mind for the mind for our action we need the knowledge knowledge is called as a parent and action is called as a child and the knowledge and actions is a, is the child if the child is not behaving well in the society the parent has to be questioned if my actions are not good my knowledge is not good the knowledge is the seed and the expression part is karma yoga my ex- expression behind my expression knowledge should be there and mind is a meditation is a status of our mind from where we operate and um, there is a saying in uh, uh, in english also what you are in your life it is a gift from the god to you but what you become in your life is your gift to the god what we are when we are born with something some uh, uh, whatever special qualities it's a gift from the god but in your life you have to become something achieve something when you achieve something it is your gift to the god mind uh, should be looked after to offer back to the lord we have to make sure that mind doesn't go into negative vicious cycle mind should be positive kept for positive and we have to uplift the game of our life by uplifting the mind never allow your mind to go down into a negative negative vicious cycle and bring out bad uh, expression through you भगवद गीता श्री कृष्ण टॉक्स अबउट दिस वन उद्धरे आत्मना न आत्मा अवसाद आत्म आत्मनो बंधु आत्म रिपुरात्म अफ्ट अफ्ट युर् मैंड बै युर् ओन एफर्ट उद्धरे आत्मना बै युर् ओन एफर्ट डोंट वेट फॉर संबडी टू प्रॉप अप युर् मैंड don't wait for some uh, uh, someone come in your life and they will uplift the game of your life you have to make a self effort when the self effort is there somebody will come in your life to uplift if i am not doing anything waiting for others to uplift the game of my life i am wasting my life you have to uplift the game of your life by your own effort uddhare ratmanatmanam na atmanam avasade atmaiva atmano bandhu your mind alone is your friend mind alone is our enemy and the uh, what uh, our best in our mind comes based on what we think in our life we should have clarity in our thinking the clarity the clarity when we have the clarity when we will get a clarity in our thinking clarity will come when we stick to our core competency in our life 
you have to stick to your core competency and if you are not if you are not sticking to your core competency trying to imitate others best in you never will come out like organizations also they talk about uh, before they are acquiring another company is it that company is it in line with our core competency whether we have expertise to acquire that one if you do not have any expertise how we can manage with um, our uh, uh, reckless acquisition you have to stick to your core competency then only you can grow the core you can't uh, in the meditation it says no point in blindly following others there is a um, uh, incident from uh, late singer kishore kumar's uh, Uh, uh life kishore uh, kumar uh, uh, was a great singer he was invited to a school function and one student there he was a fan of uh, kishore kumar and he was singing all kishore kumar songs in the same uh, tone same voice he was singing and when uh, kishore kumar came even the school uh, principal was very happy with this boy he sings just like kishore kumar and as a uh, before uh, before kishore kumar started they asked this boy to sing first that boy sang like if you close your eyes you can't differentiate between whether it was kishore kumar or this boy he sang so well whole audience were cheering so good this boy is, uh, did a marvelous job and everyone was uh, very uh, jubilant and clapping applauded this boy came back uh, uh, down from the dais and feeling very proud and when kishore kumar started his speech he pointed out to this boy you sang well but you wasted your life you wanted to imitate others in the pursuit of imitating others you lost the contact with yourself you wasted your life you wanted to become like kishore kumar but no for fact you cannot become another kishore kumar kishore kumar said you cannot become another kishore kumar you have to become yourself and then uh, it was a great lesson for uh, the kishore kumar also and uh, you had to become stick to your core competency to stick to your core competency you need not have to have lot of political connections lot of money lot of many degrees in your basket you need not have to have the passion behind what you are doing is important if i do not have a passion bit behind whatever i am doing the best in me never will come out the just becoming uh, busy in your life it is not called as karma yoga whatever you do there should be a value addition to that one then only best will come the meditation I, at the beginning i said it's a state of a state of our mind Uh, indian government uh, lately they honored uh, a tribal lady tulsi uh, tulsi gowda uh, illiterate uh, she did not go to school right from childhood her qualification right from her childhood she worked in her mother's uh, uh, nursery along with my ma- mother in a plant nursery she worked as a helper she threw her uh, heart behind what she was doing she was uh, throwing her heart and she learned so many uh, intricacies of uh, growing plants and over the years she planted over 100000 trees and she became even an expert advisor to the forest department the forest department she did not have lots and lots of money she did not have many degrees she did not have any contacts but all she did was uh, she threw her heart behind uh, whatever uh, she was doing 
and because of that one she became someone genius and government of india recognized her and gave her uh, padma shri award also they gave her uh, padma shri award and uh, that is why shri krishna says you have to stick to your core competency shreyan swadharmo vigunaha para dharma swanishtita swadharme nidanam shreya para dharma bhayavaha you have to stick to your core competency whatever is your you are good at you continue that one not hopping from here to there meditation is not changing the track today i started on this one tomorrow i will change the track i will start another one i will change the method i do i change my teacher i t- change the other way it is you have to tread the same track whatever you are good at that one however great is the other path it doesn't matter my passion you have to stick to your core competency stick to your core competency and follow your heart the success doesn't come overnight everyone wants the overnight success everyone is on the track for a quick uh, get rich scheme i want to become a multimillionaire overnight quick uh, get rich scheme success won't come that way you have to work work on that one with passion for a long period of time long period of time slowly the path opens up the path opens up for that when you have to work the, that way you have to work such a way that your actions should not be self centered whatever i am doing it should not be a selfish motive the i centered living i have to i must change it to we centered the maximum output if i am working only for me and myself it's a limited output the same energy if i change my mental concept from i to v how we get benefited instead of thinking only how i get benefited it's a limited utility how we get benefited when i start thinking my personality starts blossoming my star personality starts blossoming when i change my mental framework from i to v i to v when i uh, change that one my personality starts blossoming shri krishna says mai sarvani karmani sanyasya adhyatma chetasa nirashir nirnamo bhutva yudyasva vigata jwarah you have to fight the battle of your life everyone is had to fight the battle of our life don't be a weak hearted by be, being a weak hearted submissive nature you cannot achieve great things in your life you should have a fire in your belly very ambitious not to yield to the pressure the whatever i don't want to get up whatever they say i'll accept not that one i should have a burning fire within i have to achieve the shri krishna says mai sarvani karmani do you bring out the best in you offer it to the lords all your actions whether it may be successful or failure doesn't matter you are offering hey, the um, intention is to bring out to bring in the best to the community bring in the best to me and best to the community for that i am doing this one as an offering to the lord success or failure i am not bogged down and mai sarvani karmani sanyasya adhyatma chetasah offer it nyasa nyasa means pledge you like uh, broker uh, in the in the brokerage shop you uh, p- uh, give some uh, you put some gold coin there and they will give some money and same is you put all your actions there to the lord nyasa means you are offering you are putting sanyasa means completely you offer 
not to take success, credit for success or failure. Sanyasya adhyatma chetasaham. Adhyatma, the Supreme Lord is there, connect to Him always. And uh, my uh, and Adya Nirashir Nirnamo Bhutva, when I am offering, pledging all every action to Him, when I am pledging Nirashir, not to expect, I should get that one, I should get that one. When I have offered with the intention, with not uh, the expectation that I should get that one, I should be, I should get more money, I should, not I. When I am doing this one, my concept is global. Everyone, my sarvani karmani, my sannyas yadhyatma chetasa, nirashir nirnamo bhutva. Not to keep on bragging, I did this one, I did this one. You know that who donated that one, I donated. Who donated, I donated. Some people uh, back in India also, many places, if you go to the places, they would have donated uh, a tube light, tube light in the temple. On the tube light they have written, uh, donated by such a big letter, hardly any light comes out of that tube light. You hardly see any light, only their name comes out. And it's a, I want my name there in the tube light also. There's a many places I myself have seen in the places of temple. On the tube light also they have written, donated by, proudly donated by. One small tube light, my name has to be there. Even light doesn't come. Nirashi Nirnamo Bhutva Yudhyasva. This way, not as uh, you are doing, not for your self-interest, uh, for the welfare of others. You have to do that one. We, as a citizen of this world, we have to have an, uh, we have an obligation to look after ourselves. We have an obligation for our family. We have an obligation for the, uh, the society. We have an obligation for the world. And for that, we have the obligation as a citizen of this world. We should, we have an obligation to discharge to the world for giving a space for us to exist in this world. We have to give it back to the society, give it back uh, uh, to the world. The meditation again coming back. The meditation helps, helps in clarity in thinking. Like in computer, computer, uh, uh, so many files I open, so many files I have worked on and files are everywhere and time to time there is a program we run, uh, disk defragmentation. We don't want unnecessary spaces and it is cluttering my computer, making my computer go run very slow. For de slowing to overcome that one, what I do, I run, I hit that button, uh, disk defragmentation. So that unnecessary spaces are released. When you start spending time for yourself, unnecessary voids created in your mind, which is occupying the space of your mind for useless things gets deleted and mind becomes compact. You have to invest time for yourself for that. If I look at my office calendar, I have back to back meeting, back to back meeting uh, from uh, if somebody asks for a meeting, I will say, sorry, I don't have time. My calendar is full. But if I look at my calendar, there is no appointment for myself. I have given time for everyone. I haven't given time for myself. I must give time for myself. Every day, not the uh, condemned time. When I have no appointment, I will spend time for myself. Not that one. You have to give the prime time for yourself. The prime time of the day, you should give it to yourself because you are the most important person in this world. The most important person in this world is not your wife, not your husband, not your children, not your employer, not your uh, prime minister or your friends or uh, uh, whoever. The most important person is you. 
in the aeroplane they say in case of emergency put on the oxygen mask on yourself if you don't look after yourself there may be two casualties you also may be dead and your other person also you try to help them and there may be two casualties to avoid that one look after yourself enrich the game of your life game of your life by uplifting your mind spend time for yourself and uh, spend time go deep and uh, declutter your mind unnecessary things it will drop off when you start spending time for yourself do the practice every day what i will get out of that one shri krishna says yam labdva cha param labham manyate na adikam tataha yasmin site na dukhena guru na pi vichalyate yam labdva when the mind starts decluttering mind unnecessary things are not no longer haunting me yam labdva when it happens na one uh, realizes there is nothing higher in my life to achieve there is nothing higher in my life the so many things it is to preoccupy my mind and mental the mental chatter box was running all the time thinking about me 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 unnecessary things have dropped off mind have got decluttered mind has become very creative and labdva chaparam yasmin sthitena dukkhena when you attain that one one not even shaken by heaviest of tragedy in life one may go through heavy tragedy in the life and even the heaviest of the calamities in life will not shake that person off the meditation makes you attain that one this state of uh, mind is a must for a leader if you are aspiring to be an inspirer to the generation if you are aspiring to become a great leader you must have this state of the mind this state of the mind having attained that one nothing can shake you off from your path from your goal your path is a lofty path what is the intention to bring in good to others welfare of others such a person is a great value to oneself such a person is a great value to the family such a person is a great value to the society to the country and the whole world this world requires such people around so that they uplift the game of the generation inspire the confidence in the generation slowly morality negativity when it is uh, um, circling around to counter that one we need this type of positive thinking it uplifts the game of our life and it uplifts the game of our life and of the society so meditation is a must it is not an option meditation as i mentioned it is not just closing your eyes and sitting still you are meditating is a status of your mind what is the status think good think positive think noble and think the best not just for you for everyone the meditation is the need of the day